How old was your deer? This is a popular question around deer season. Often at processors and deer camps alike, you'll hear phrases like, look at that rack, that buck must be at least four or five years old. Or possibly, that's an old deer, look how gray she is in the muzzle. But gray hair and antler size do not accurately reflect the age of any deer. To age a white-tailed deer with certainty, the best method is to pull a lower incisor, root attached, and send it to a laboratory for cross-sectioning. Many mammals, including deer, can be aged by staining these teeth and counting the rings that appear, just like on a tree. This process of determining a deer's age takes time and money. But this is not the only way to age a deer. There's another technique based on tooth wear and replacement patterns. Most questions regarding the age of a deer come during hunting season. So these instructions apply to aging deer killed during the Pennsylvania hunting seasons. Since most of these deer are born from mid-May to mid-June, their ages will be 6 months, 18 months, 30 months, 42 months, etc. A deer 6 months old is called a fawn. An 18-month-old deer is called a yearling. And older deer are called adults. Before we actually age a deer, let's define some of the terms we'll be using. Enamel is the white part of the tooth that covers all parts of newly emerged teeth. Dentine is the brown part of the tooth under the enamel. As the enamel wears away, dentine becomes visible. Dentine is not to be confused with the brown staining that builds up on the surface of the enamel. The amount of dentine showing is critical to aging a deer. A cusp is a point on the grinding surface of the tooth. Deer molars have either two or three cusps. Lingual crest is the top of the cusp on the tongue side of the tooth. Two other commonly used terms are premolar and molar. Premolars are baby teeth, for lack of a better term, that are lost and replaced by permanent teeth. Molars are located in the back of the jaw and, unlike premolars, emerge only once and are not replaced. Yearling and adult deer have three premolars and three molars. Like children, deer replace their teeth in a systematic fashion. Once all teeth have been replaced with adult teeth, wearing away of the enamel and the amount of visible dentine on those teeth can be used to determine age. After two and a half years of age, the point after which the age must be determined by these wear patterns alone, variability creeps in as individual deer have individual chewing patterns and diets. For example, a deer that spends most of its time eating corn and soybeans may show less wear than a deer that eats primarily woody browse growing in the forest. The first step in deer aging is to count the number of teeth on one half of the lower jaw, not including the front teeth. Up until about 10 months of age, a deer will have up to five teeth on each side of its lower jaw. The first three are premolars, followed by up to two molars. Jaws that have five or fewer teeth are considered fawns, approximately six months of age, born in May or June of the same year. If there are six teeth on the lower jaw, three premolars and three molars, the deer is at least one and a half years of age. But just because a deer has six teeth does not mean they're done replacing them. As yearlings, deer will replace all three of their premolars. A yearling is approximately 18 months old, born in May or June of the previous year. The second step in deer aging is to determine whether a deer is one and a half years of age or older. One and a half year old deer can have any one of three types of tooth configurations. First, look at the third premolar and count the number of cusps on the tooth. If it has three cusps, we know that the deer is one and a half years old. Occasionally, you may see a two-cusped adult tooth coming in right underneath the three-cusped juvenile tooth before it's pushed out. If you count six teeth and notice any of the first three teeth, the premolars, in the process of being replaced, the deer is one and a half years of age. If the third premolar is a two-cusped tooth, the deer could be one and a half years of age or maybe older. Distinguishing between a one and a half year old and a two and a half year old can be difficult. To tell the difference, a closer inspection of the third premolar and the third molar, that would be the third and the sixth tooth on the jaw, is needed. There are three subtle differences between the wear patterns on a one and a half year old and a two and a half year old. First, look at the back half of the third premolar. There should not be any dentine showing through the enamel of a one and a half year old deer. Next, look at the last two inside or lingual crests of the last molar tooth. For a one and a half year old deer, these two crests should not show any dentine either. 
You will notice that the crests of the first and second molar, fourth and fifth teeth, show dentine. Remember, the deer has had these teeth longer than the third molar and therefore has been chewing on it longer. Lastly, look at the top of the third cusp of the last molar. A one-and-a-half-year-old deer will not show any dentine on this cusp. Nowhere on the third and sixth teeth typically identifies a one-and-a-half-year-old deer. The typical two-and-a-half-year-old and older deer will show dentine on the third and sixth tooth where it's lacking in the one-and-a-half-year-old. Dentine in these key locations may be very slight. Seeing these sometimes subtle differences is part of the skill of aging deer. After two and a half years of age, determining the age of a deer relies on tooth wear. As a deer ages, tooth enamel wears down and the width of the dentine showing or the amount of brown on the lingual crest increases. Here's an example of an old deer showing significant wear and exposed dentine. As noted before, there are many factors that influence the individual tooth wear patterns of deer diet, soil types, injury, individual chewing patterns, etc. Once all teeth are replaced, it's difficult to determine the age of a deer with certainty based on wear patterns alone. This is why the Game Commission ages deer into only three categories when collecting harvest data every fall. Trained Game Commission deer agers can reliably and consistently age deer to six months old, that's fawns, 18 months old, yearlings, and 30 plus months, deer that are two and a half years or older. Now here's an aging review. Using only the teeth in the back of the mouth, number one, count the teeth. Five teeth or less, six month old deer. Six teeth, one and a half year old or older deer. Next, count the number of cusps on the third tooth. Three cusps, one and a half years old or a yearling. Two cusps, Inspect the back half of the third tooth and inside high crests of the sixth tooth and the top of the last cusp on the sixth tooth. No dentine present on the lingual crest, one and a half year old or yearling. Visible dentine on the lingual crest, at least two and a half years old. We hope you've enjoyed learning about deer aging and will find it helpful the next time somebody asks you, how old is that deer?